So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, y'all, if you didn't know, this is Legacy, the Legend Group Therapy Entertainment, host of Worst Case Radio 93.3, I mean 93.9, sorry KWSS, I host along with DJM and Pinnacle, so anyway, like I was saying, I was thinking, <coughs> man, you know, we got... A total of four Arizona Hip Hop Battle of the Bands under our belt. The two of them, the last two that I hosted the last two months. You know, I've been I've been studying the talent, studying the performers, and kind of wondering to myself, you know what, you know, what am I missing, man? What am I missing? The very first performer of my new section of AZ Hip Hop Battle of the Band was AP and he had a very theatrical he was acting he was you know moving he had uh, voices engaging with him through the speakers and as far as looking for something different in hip hop outside of someone standing on stage moving around and just rapping honestly uh, that's was exactly what I was looking for, hoping for. You know, you know, AP. He had some disgruntled feelings. He settled them uh, through hip hop, and you know, a nigga gotta accept that. But um, legitimately, as far as a performance, complete performance, that was the closest to something that actually made me say, "Hey." He took it outside of the box. Now, don't get me wrong. Yami had some good things in her performance to attract the crowd. Uh, she did some new things in her performance that made her stand out as well. Um, outside of that, many performers came up and killed, just killed it. You know, lyrically, uh, 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 good stamina as far as you know, performance rock wise is concerned good good appearance many many came and did that but you know i've been seeking something different man i've been seeking something i don't know something to draw the crowd and something to i want to see people in the crowd with tears in their eyes and i want to see people in the crowd with excitement about somebody and you know what i i don't know man i've been thinking to myself maybe it, it, is it possible that that i've outgrown hip-hop I mean, does 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 that stimulus exist in hip hop today? You try to find it. I try to find it, and even the professionals, many of them just grab a microphone, run around the stage, and count on you knowing their music to make their performance fire. What about the MC where nobody knows their music? What about that dude? What about us? How are we going to make the crowd respect our sound? That's my that's my dilemma. That's my that's that's where I'm at. And that is I I'm really starting to believe that I have possibly outgrown hip hop because I mean, I don't see anything different. Not, I quite honestly don't see anything different. And I'm not saying this uh, to be a mood killer or anything, but quite literally, I, I see nothing different. I don't I don't see a complete performance. I, I see MCs being the same MCs that we were when hip hop started. Grab the microphone, get on the stage, bounce around, dance, maybe get some girls on the stage to dance with you, bounce around, rap, throw your hands in the air, wave them around like you just don't care. And if that's honestly what a hip hop performance is going to graduate to and remain, you know, I've, I've, I've outgrown it, man. Stay tuned.